what is up guys it's Mikey Chime we're here and welcome to episode 35 of my uh, gothic 3 playthrough the servant of Adanos in this particular episode we're gonna raid the cities of the desert and uh, <coughs> give the desert of Arant to uh, the nomads so without further ado let's begin I have to say in advance that uh, when I was going to take a power nap because I failed this quest about four or five times or something like that, um, not with recording, but with constantly deaths, not able to find farriers and whatnot. So let's hope it's gonna work better in this one. But when I went to bed, my internet apparently disconnected, and thus my uploading has been cancelled. You know, well, it's still uploading, but. You know, it uh, stopped uploading due to you no know, internet connection connectivity. So that if it lags, it could be because of the fact that it's still uploading in the background. About five more episodes or so, um, which I will upload it towards private. But um, they will, by the time that this one is visible, will already be on the channel in public. You know. Uh, yeah, let's get to Abraga and uh, start liberating the cities of the desert. All of the cities of the desert. But I was getting relatively annoyed with the fact that I couldn't find the fairies anywhere. Um, I think I've located him. I think. I hope. But, um... There's only one way to find out. Oh, wrong one. Now, I will not complete any of the remaining quests, like uh, the Shy Deer, stealing the first Paladin's helmet, um, stealing the golden plates for Laris, and liberating the orcs from Nordmar due to the fact that this guy really don't need to do those however liberating the cities in the name of the nomads is one a must and uh, completing all the water mages quests is also a must so I will complete those only and then uh, finish the game so we can go to I hate those beasts the two the forsaken gods Azuru, where are you, man? How is everything? Are you ready to attack? The time has come. Let us drive the Hashishin from the city. So it could be that it's gonna ha lag here and there relatively heavily, but that's because of the fact that I'm still uploading in the background. And I do need those on my YouTube channel <laughs> at all costs. Could have cancelled them, but uh, I will only do so if absolutely necessary. And since the only thing I still have to do is retake the cities, get Zubin's artifact, and I go with Zardas into the mountains, as well as complete Nefarious' quests if he has quests, and uh, the same with um. Kronos, I think, is also at the same location. <laughs> Don't really need the XP anymore. This character still makes me learn. Is uh, ice explosion. And then this guy is a full build. Ah! 
We won. We sure did. All right, so let's go to the next city, Abenerai. Sent you to Adenals. Oh, Mr. G has died, eh? Wow. me to summon Mr. G. Mr. G wants some revenge. Oh. Yeah. And Mr. G, come to me. due to the fact that I've got my entire armor collection as you can see all the armors that I wanted to get except for the ranger's outfit I got but uh, in this case I have the druids so I still have one of the ranger's outfits the uh, ranger's outfit was a uh, collectible well also a collectible, uh, optional collectible, but uh, my Hashishin and my Rebel will uh, eventually wear the um, Ranger's outfit instead of the Druid's outfit.
Now, my good friend the leader is not here, at least, last time he wasn't, which is due to the fact I have to follow him from the cave out, so let me quickly go to the cave of the nomads and follow the guy here, because uh, he will most definitely help with uh, clearing out Morasu, and once we're done with Morasu, only a Bakaresh remains, and um... Ishtar, of course, but uh, Ishtar is one of the final ones, and before I will go to Ishtar, I will first have to go northwest from um, Ishtar to find the Farius. He's here. I thought he was in the north, so I thought, yeah, well, you know, never thought he would be this far off, but uh, you can find him here. Took me a while to figure that one out as well. It was one of the reasons why I was getting quite annoyed, you know, with the fact that I couldn't find him because of, uh, you know, I saw YouTube videos, etc., um, of guys that were finding him, but they never ever show it on the map. Normally, neither do I, you know. I have to admit that, um, and was relatively frustrating because if you know the location of a certain person and you know the location where he is I might as well show it on the map so that everybody knows where he is especially if you're gonna do a let's play slash walkthrough so I will do that with the second run and the third run of my Gothic 3 playthrough which will be the path of Enos and the path of Balear and then we're gonna have eventually the fourth run, which is beating Gothic the entire series without dying. So Gothic 1 must be beaten without dying, Gothic 2 must be beaten without dying, Gothic 3 must be beaten without dying, Gothic 3 Forsaken Gods, Arcania Gothic 4, Fall of Such Aerith, you know, all without deaths. And uh, in that particular hardcore run, I will go a full build, full 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 literally full full so I will be have the capabilities of uh, Enos magic heal myself heal others you know that sort of a thing bless weapons and whatnot as well as uh, you know summon the demons skeletons bloodlust transfer disease etc as well as Adonor's magic, this one in particular. But first, the three paths that's gonna be different from each other when it comes to wielding a weapon. This guy uses two-handed weapons. 
my rebel will use one handed and a shield and my Hashishin will dual wield swords so all three car characters has a bit of uniqueness in combat style this guy used the bow, the mage will use pure magic aka the rebel uh, I mean the Hashishin, my bad and uh, the rebel will use the crossbow so that one has been taken care of as well you know so uh, there are certain things to make a character go full build now I'm currently at level 71 I only need five learning points to uh, finish my character build now these are useless due to the fact that I'm wielding a two-handed weapon the crossbow is useless because I'm using the bow the shields are useless again because of the two-handed weapons Paladin you can only get um, as soon as you activated all the fire chalices I think um, you were able to get this one which allows you to deal more damage to Balear which is for my path Venus. at first I didn't want to learn this I accidentally did but these two are supposed to be grey and this one you can only get an Ishtar so the thieving skills is maxed Alchemy skills is maxed due to the fact I really don't need brewing pro potions to transform uh, due to the fact of uh, druid stones and the Adenos capabilities of literally transforming into any critter that I see whether it's a sand crawler, a bunny, a snake, doesn't really matter um, it could have its limits but I will have the capabilities of trans transforming more than these so this one was optional I will not get it, you know, not really need it, but I will get it with the other two paths. Hunting is maxed, magic is maxed, only thing, fire mage and dark mage, Enos and Balear. Smithing is done, other skills is done. And then the last thing I need is ice explosion and then my transformation magic tap has been completed. This will be for Enos, which you can only get through Enos statuette and uh, fire mages. This I will get in Balear, which you can get through Balear statuette and dark mages. And this is for the current path, which I still need ice explosion for, and thus I have to find Nefarious. So, but yeah, I'm starting to talk up too much again. Let's liberate the city chaos. Lots of booty. Oh well, not that I'm gonna collect the booty, you know. Don't tell me you're gonna glitch through the wall, eh? But did you guys see that? Um, where's the little hut? Just TP on the mountain like a boss. Oh, I just go one level higher, I think. Where is Kaior? He went up this mountain, so he should be around here. There he is. Oh no, 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 no. Seriously, bro? Is 
serious. What are you doing? This takes too much time. Let me just attack the city, that should do it. I'll take care of them myself, that guy's booked, as always. I will finish this matter. There's a lot of these beasts! <laughs> Those awful beasts! Ooh. Come on, still no one is attacking, like really I killed your people, you know, pay attention guys. No, not gonna happen, I'm gonna kill you. There we go, hey, finally. Fucking leg. 
should have shut it down those uh, uploads. Yeah, of course, hey. Of course. A fucking black mage. again <laughs> fucking blocking cunts stop that fucking blocking and die already oh no really Come on! Fucking gothic game. Uh, I really should deactivate this push to talk bullshit. Stop blocking and die, thank you. Instead of setting they're saying, hey, there's a fight, why don't you fucking help and you need to? Fucking... Of course. What a fucking retard, literally, all of them. Fucking nomads. Fucking idiots. Totally, freakingly useless. Their leader gets stuck. They're not gonna assist me and... All the oldie slaves and whatnot are just looking by why I liberate this fucking city in their fucking name. It is that I need to kill them in the name of the nomads. Otherwise I would have said, fuck it, let's finish the game, you know. But uh, this kind of nonsense really pisses me off. One of the things that pissed me off last time with the recording failings, you know. Um, because this always happens, there's always someone not cooperating as they should. You know, just standing around there, smoking a pipe or just chilling. Ah, oh, really? This entire city again? Fucking nomads, fuck their leader, I'm not gonna get him again. Or kill his ass in Bel Path Baliar's revenge. I don't have time for nonsense like this. guys but uh it's really getting on my nerves especially since I now done all the cities liberating except for each star about five times six times maybe even seven times and every single time there's something that's gonna be fucked up it's either the mic buzzing 
It's either the fucking idiot standing around doing nothing, just like fapping like pulses. And uh, it's really getting the best out of me. Well. You're about to die. Yeah. Get on with it. How about you little cunts instead of clapping, eh? How about you fucking walk your asses over to the monastery, well, over to Morasul and kick their fat asses? Dumb fucking idiots. I'm killing you, that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna lure the entire city to their fucking idiots. All of you come with me. It's time for you lazy fuckers to do something, eh? You now fucking idiots. I'll show you. Liberating the cities, but not doing a thing for it. Guys are literally bloody cons. Servants of Adenos should be ashamed of the your patheticness. Come here, all of you, entire city if have to. Come, let these buggers do some of their fucking work. All they want is the booty, but no effort in return. Now, you, while you guys keep busy with that one, I'm gonna learn an entire army. Come, the more the better. Come, come. Others are again chilling. Look at them. Standing around there being completely useless. You showed him. And now we're walking back again. Come. Stop standing around there. Come. <laughs> I don't have the whole day to get busy with you guys any longer. I'm done with that shit. Are you gonna summon something something, eh? I will summon, summon something to you. The beasts just don't learn. The beasts won't leave us in peace. There's just too many of the beasts. Let's first take care of the fucking mage. Hey, folks, there's a fight. Keep at it. And there the annoyance again starts with fucking blocking and everything yeah. goes on me. Fuckingly annoyingly useless bunch of nomads. Yeah! 
Stop right there, you dog. Stop right there, you coward. Yeah, these guys, these nomads are a really bunch of useless guys. I've never you seen uh, so many useless buggers in one place. And they actually literally doing nothing. Even Kafu walked past them, you know, no problem. Let them have fun with Kafu. At least they're killing someone. <laughs> Stop that nonsense, will ya? Well done. Yeah, cause you guys are doing nothing. All you do is profiting from my liberation. They can't even handle a water merchant. Instead of am I good, am I good? Oh. Yeah, I really hope that this area is liberated soon because uh, I'm starting to get annoyed. Not because of the failures, not because of the deaths. Because these buggers are literally oh, six out of six. Six out of six. If it's not seven or eight tries that I had. Six out of six. Let's say six out of six. These buggers literally do nothing in order to help me to liberate more soul so that they re can reclaim their city. No, no, no. That's too much to ask. You know, they rather sit around on their fat asses and just claim the, the cities without doing any shit in return. Oh, come on, can't be that long anymore. Gore Anger gets it. Well done. So, move. That's it for you. Finally, now Bakaresh. The Hashishin are defeated. I thank you, Father of Freedom. Someday the desert will be ours. Here, take this, my liberator. May it help you with what lies ahead. Some problems solve themselves. And tell your men not to be such a lazy bunch of cunts. Let me quickly go to that leader bugger that uh, gets bugged all the time. Now if their leader wasn't bugged, either way I would have been able to, you know, get it done with the help of the bugger nomads. But since that bugger of a leader just walks right here and then You know, which means for me that I have to rewalk all the way around here to teleport to Morasul and then go to him. And once you found him again, he will jump down again. Because, you know, that's how a buggy this game is. Which is another thing that is rather typically, rather typically pisses me off, you know. But, I'm glad. I'm very glad that I'm nearly done here. I let them have fun, you know. Fuck that Orkner Rock. I'm not here to enjoy the things. I'm here to see what I get for talking with that prick of a leader that's just sitting in his little cave, being booked like a boss.
This is okay. Morasul has fallen. Our brothers are free. A new era is dawning for us, and we have you to thank for it, warrior. May Adenos protect you. Next time. Don't be such a lazy prick. I'm just saying. Alright, so let's go to Bakaresh. The final city. Get those nomads, at least they will help me. For that I know for a fact, so uh, that would speed things up quite a bit, because that's why I use these uh, bugger nomads to speed things up, not because I'm picking their side. Well, technically speaking, I am because they are servants of Adenals, but I'm just only doing it to speed things up, to make it a bit more easier for myself, so I can kill faster, get it done faster. Just get on the top of this little road and get it over with because uh, I just want to finish the game, you know. I'm pretty much full build, the only thing that I still need is the ice explosion. And I will get that from Nefarious, who is northwest of Ishtar. Um, which also took me quite a long time to actually figure out where that bugger was. But uh, I literally walked through the entire desert, searched every little area, and couldn't find him. So I was like, you know, hey, let's Google, let's YouTube, and see where this bugger is uh, located. And uh, you can uh, locate that uh, bugger right over here. No one in the videos on YouTube shows you exactly where that spot is. Maybe I didn't find, uh, search hard enough, you know. But that frustrated me as well. Went to bed because of uh, frustration. Because and because it was like 7 a.m. Literally 7 a.m been through the night to beat the game as quickly as possible so I can go to Gothic 3 Forsaken Gods which I'm lo really really looking against you know I really don't want to play Forsaken Gods because it's not a great game um, but I have to because of the Gothic series and for that reason alone will I do it on all possible paths which makes it even more annoying Where is Sinagar? The slaves will fight with us. Then we shouldn't make them wait. Get ready, and then we'll attack. Yeah, let's hope you guys are better than the lost. Sinagar is ready. Fine. I don't know about you fellows from up north, but we nomads are ready. Convinced Reg, huh? I bet he really fleeced you. He's a gold hungry pig, but he is also a damn good fighter. Get yourself ready, then we will attack. Atterus is on our side? Then we have a chance. Get yourself ready, then we will attack. All right, we're ready to attack. Good. You give the signal, and off we go. Here we go. Let's liberate Bakaresh. Here goes nothing. Get up, you lazy dogs. There's work to be done. Exactly. Spoken like a true leader, Knut. Or shall I say Knut? Alright, so let's the liberation of one of the final city begin. The only thing that I still have to liberate is... The one and only Ishtar, but that one is relatively small, so that's not going to be a problem. But I also have to go to Nefarious, learn Eyes Explosion, complete his quest, because whether I want to complete quests or not, by needing them, you know, as a servant of Adonos, it is a must to complete 75% of the Druid's quest all possible water mages quests because they are the true servants of Adonis and um, I have to do that at all costs and the only one that still remains is our good friend 
Nefarious and maybe Kronos, but I surely hope not because uh, those quests mostly require traveling about the desert, finding certain locations and whatnot, you know, the boring stuff. And uh, since this guy is a full build, he literally doesn't need to complete those quests, but I have to. You know, it's a restriction that I put on myself, which makes things a bit more annoying. But uh, it has to be done either way. You're about to die. Now it's your turn. Still got it. Let's go. I haven't got all day. This area is huge, so there will be a lot of ashishin. And therefore I need them at all costs. Just to get some of the uh, buggers off my back. Move! I'll skewer you alive! I'll tear you apart! Well done. Tear you apart. the chosen I am the chosen Right there. Oh. You guys sucks, literally. I've still got it. Get 
Just you wait, boy. Stop right there, you dog. Let me just save so I don't have to redo the whole Bakarash thing. out of the fucking tunnel. Get your sorry ass over here. I'll tear you apart. Useless nomads. Useful with your pathetic lives. I've still got it. How many do I have to? Still have to kill for them to be liberated. Others doing, eh? Fapping again? Stop that motherfucking blocking, please. you can carry you've earned it it's party time no need it's all yours all right so this one is done as well let's teleport back to Praga and go to Ishtar slash nefarious gonna take quite some time before I'm actually arriving near Ishtar but I first have to go to this one and then go to Ishtar because uh, I have to complete Nefarious's quest and learn the ice explosion for him. whether I use the time well whether I use the spells or not remains you know negotiable I really really haven't used that much Hailstorm. Um, actually, none. 
I did it in the previous record, but it caused massive lags and the damage was weak. Holy shit, the damage was weak. Time bubble, yeah. yeah. Don't really have to. Uh, didn't only used it once just to see what it does. It slows time. And uh, Golem I use quite often, but that's it. the only thing that I use quite often. And Tame Animals. But the rest, haven't used them that much. But, you know, that's aside from the point. It's about getting them, not using them. I'm gonna let you have it! You. I really don't have time for this. Well, at least I hope that's the Oasis, because uh, if it isn't, then all the googling and whatnot was again for nothing. The things that you do, guys, when you're near at the end and you want to finish things. If I wasn't recording, you know, I would take my time, lose everything, kill everybody, blah de blah. But uh, since I'm recording, it's more about getting as many games out there as possible than uh, being a jerk and uh, looting everything. Because let's be honest, I got 163,000 and I've got all the armors that I'm supposed to collect as collectibles. Did that for fun as well, just to waste a bit of my gold on, you know. Um, but got them, and uh, I still have plenty of gold. So why would I need all the useless gold in Bakaresh, all the useless gold and items in Pensala, Benerai, Braga, etc. You know, it makes no sense. No, don't have time for you guys. And after I completed and liberated Ishtar, I will see um, and teleport to Bakaresh again to see if the Druid Stone of the Lurk is there. Um, because I checked the video for that one as well. It's supposed to be in the cave that I already, you know, explored. But uh, thus far, in my case, you know, and that was in the episodes of Bakaresh. Just quite a few episodes f from uh, this one. Um, well, quite a few episodes backwards from this one, you know. It wasn't there, and uh, I was already certain that that was the cave. I checked it, wasn't there. So I really hope that it is currently there. Maybe it had connections with where is the guru. I don't know, but uh, if that is the case, then it should be. Uh, located, uh, let me see, where's the road? Bakaresh, you have this road right here, and then he's somewhere around. Uh, let me say it correctly. I think it was somewhere around here. Well, I'm not entirely sure, I will check, recheck the cave. Because uh, I do want to have uh, the Lurker Stone. And I want it badly. These damn beasts are <sighs> out. You showed him one filthy beast less. I'll show you. What the hell are your problem? And where the hell is nefarious? Stop right there! 
Don't ask me why they were red, because I honestly do not know. Man, what do you want? It's good that you are here. You came at just the right time. You seem agitated. I am just about to unravel the mystery of Haran Ho, and you can help me. Tell me about Haran Ho. Haran Ho was a great warrior of the Ancient Ones. His travels led him deep into the desert. There he learned the nomad's way of life and came to cherish it. Finally, he gave up his old life and joined the nomads. And then? His decision angered the rulers of the Ancient Ones. On their orders, the hunt for Haran Ho began. And now comes the good part. Haran Ho recognized the wisdom of the water mages and understood the power of Adanos. Thus he was able to hold off his pursuers again and again. Does that mean he worked magic? I assume so. How does the story continue? Ultimately, the warriors of the Ancient Ones succeeded in killing Heron Ho, but the Nomads stole his corpse and took it to a tomb. And do you know where the tomb is? They took him to a stone tomb in the Green Valley. A cave? Yes. Have you noticed the dead trees? You mean they are the remains of the Green Valley? Exactly. There we will find his tomb and, with a bit of luck, his magic. Let's look for the tomb together. Good. I'm ready. But you go first. I'll take you out of here. Good. Now where is supposed this that trees? <laughs> you should one filthy beast less. Why the hell is this Haran Ho? Cause uh, I was hoping that this book would lead me to it. But uh, that's asking too much. These are the threat dead trees. So it must be around here somewhere. No time for you. <sighs> Run fast the next time. <coughs> Come on, nefarious. Hayaku, please. Takes care of that. Let's move on, nefarious. Takes care of that. Well, that's certainly a giant skeleton. 
Look at the size of that skeleton. I can't recall this area. Mine crawlers. Let's check out this katana. Supposedly, I think it's weak now. Yeah. Ha! A cave! Let's take a look. Are you sure? I thought I heard something. Of course you heard something. Caves like this are always full of monsters, undead, or the like. You don't say. Really? This isn't the first cave I've entered. Then go take a look. I'll cover the rear. Just tell me when you're ready. Ready. I'll have to clear everything I... So much for you, filthy beast. But on his journey, he found the staff of the Eternal Wanderer, and he took it with him. And Beliar said to him, Now, proceed to the country of the Nomads, and establish a realm for me. And Zubin went to the desert, and there he drove his staff into the ground and said, This is where I shall build my realm for you. And the faith of the orcs became the faith of the humans. I already know that. The tomb is safe. Then we can look around in peace. And? Have you learned the magic? I'm beginning to understand the context. It will be enough to teach you the necessary components. I will teach you the ancient spell. Teach me something about ancient magic. There are but a few who could still stand against you now. Ice explosion is very powerful. The only downside of it, it's casting time is long. But that has been taken care of. Let's liberate each star for once and for all. And then the final episode begins where we're gonna go uh, to Zardis, into the mountains. But first I have to... I will track down the Lurker Stone, see if it's there. Because it's possible that it was connected to West Guru. But my character is now officially full built, so uh, I could pretty much finish the game. Although I would like to get the Lurker Druid Stone, you know, but last time I checked, it wasn't there, and that's about, um, well, before I went to Nordmar. So that's quite some episodes backwards, so maybe it's there, you know, since I've now found the guru, well, 
couple of episodes away as well, but I found the guru, killed him. So maybe the lurker druid stone is uh, located now inside that little cave. But first Ishtar, so that this episode can be finished finally. After failing like five, six times, maybe even more. I still have to redo this game two times. Path of Venus and Path of Balear. Let's see if I'm able to survive this falling damage. I will make sure that in the last video into the uh, description, because the last video is going to most likely be relatively small. Um, but I will make sure that in the last video, either in the description or the comment section, there will be noted which quests I completed, which quests uh, fail, and which quests are incompleted. Because, you know, my character really doesn't need them anymore in order to level and thus in order to unlock skill capabilities unless I'm gonna train useless junk like opening locks you know. so let the death of Zubin begin as a servant of Beliar will I get access legitimately to each time. <laughs> Golem, but uh, my golem will would... thus is the will of Adenals. Ah! Ah! 
Easy, fellas. Don't have the time to die now. Space has lots of black mages. I don't care how many potions I have to waste. Your city will fall. <laughs> shooting man. Some existence, hey. Stop breaking. What the fuck was that? surrender. Nearly done guys, finally. Ah! <laughs> 
this done go back now <laughs> all right so that's done um yeah so uh, let's teleport to Bakaresh and see if it's in the tunnel the uh, druid stone and then uh, I'm gonna end the episode and go to the last episode to uh, finish and beat the game, my friends. It's gonna be a quite a, a long road, kind of, but the critters are already been taken care of, at least if they don't respawn. Which they did. don't have time for this nonsense. check if the uh, druid stone is now there because uh, if it is then it's probably connected to where is the guru probably I'm not saying that it will but
this is the cave which is uh, over here at least as far as I know you know I think that this is not the cave. Oh, doesn't matter. I will keep it for the uh, next episode. I will Google really quickly and uh, see where exactly on the road, you know, the uh, mine is. But if it is this one, which I think, but well, I'm not entirely sure anymore. But uh, there's no druid stone here, nor d no uh, diary. Um, so. If I can't find it in the next episode, too bad. You know, it's uh, added by the community patch. Same with the one with the lizard. But I already have the lizard one. <coughs> but I will see if I can get it. And if not, then, um, you know, too bad. I will try in the next playthrough. But uh, this is about the end of this episode. We're going to continue in the next and uh, finish the game once and for all and prepare mentally to go to Forsaken Gods so uh, I want to thank you guys for watching if you like what you see feel free to subscribe to my channel and if you do hit the notification bell thumbs up thumbs down is always welcome preferably thumbs up but you know that's for you guys to decide I do not like my own videos even though I do them for you guys it's not that i'm gonna like my own videos you know just to get a, an extra like on all my videos you know that would uh, be an appropriate way of getting big but anyways thank you guys for watching and i hope to see you in the final episode of gothic 3 where we're gonna beat uh, gothic 3 and go into Gothic 3 Forsaken Gods. So I see you guys next time. Oh, and also uh, feel free, by the way, to uh, leave behind positive or negative comments. Almost forgot that one. So, yeah, subscribe to my channel if you do hit the notification bell. Both positive or negative feedback is always welcome, whatever it takes to improve my channel even further. It's just for you, and um, uh, subscribe, I already said that, and uh, you know, thumbs it up or thumbs it down, preferably thumbs it up to unlock the hardcore run, um, which will require about 100 likes, keep in mind though, it will be divided through the three paths, and one video of Gothic 1, Gothic 2, Gothic 3, Gothic 3 Forsaken Gods, Gothic 4 and Gothic 4 Fall of Sacheriff. One video of each of these playthroughs will count towards the hardcore run, so it shouldn't be really that hard to unlock it. Um, but you guys can unlock it if you want to, but in, before I will be able to do the hardcore run, you know, no deaths allowed. I first have to beat the game on all three paths. Currently still am with Gothic 1 with Baliar and still with Gothic 2 at Enos. So that's currently out of the option. But nevertheless, it will be done at some point, you know. So uh, I hope to see you guys in the final episode of Gothic 3. And maybe in the beginning episode of Gothic 3 Forsaken Gods. Who knows? You know, subscribe. Thumbs up, thumbs down, positive, negative feedback, whatever it takes to help me boost my channel to uh, going better and better and better and better, you know. Um, because uh, my channel is not per se only about me, it's about, you know, of course I, I do it for myself, you know, to get my my bills paid, etc, you know, but... In the long run, I'm also going to use this to create muto muto jobs, my friends. Muto muto jobs. Not very high-end, top-notch jobs, but 
jobs nevertheless where you can earn quick bucks you know like um, time stamping my videos for me which means that I could you know let, let's say I'm big you know I will pay people to do the timestamps for me why so that people will watch my content I get paid for that watching time they can promote their own channel through the timestamps because their name will be noted there and they're getting paid to do so you know so win-win second I will pay people to create intros outros for every game that I will play for the hardcore runs and you will get paid for it you know as many jobs as I can create the better I will also invest into people that have small channels non-existing channels just like mine at the current moment um, that get paid a zero by YouTube or by Google better said um, not to make you rich you know it's not about getting rich but it's getting it's about getting food on your table a roof above your head pay uh, pay your damn bills you know even though we don't want to pay them bills we have to because that's how our society works etc and so forth you know but it's too early for me to say all these things due to the fact I currently only have about 23 subscribers and in order to create the jobs that I want to I need to earn quite a bit amount of money however I will not be like most channels only uploading one video a day of like 30 minutes 45 minutes I upload whenever I can as quickly as I can as efficiently as I can keep in mind though some videos will be uploaded earlier than when they are public this is due to the fact in gothic's case you know the timestamps have to be made and the first run is the most important one and thus its timestamps must be finished I have to do that myself I have to replay well rewatch the entire video and uh, timestamp them to 100% accuracy at least try to um, so that you guys can make use of those timestamps to your heart's content you know so that people if they're gonna work for me and create timestamps for me they know what I expect by watching my other playthroughs my first playthrough of gothic my first playthrough of risen my first playthrough beyond good and evil my first playthrough of prince of persia my first playthrough of gta's you know every first playthrough of every single game whether the game has multiple paths or not will have will not be shown on youtube even if they are uploaded unless the timestamps have been created by me this requires time together with recording it requires a hell lot of time but I do this so that you guys can enjoy it to the fullest extent and so that as soon as I go to the second and the third I will just upload them instantly public you know just instantly no need to hide it and let the community make it and if not I will make them myself you know at some point but anyways guys I'm starting to talk way too much again if you like what you see, you know, subscribe, thumbs up, thumbs down, positive or negative comments, everything is welcome. And if you do subscribe, hit the notification bell so you will be notified whenever a video is uploaded, whenever a video goes from private to public, which means the timestamps have been finished. And I will try to do them as quickly as possible, as efficiently as possible, as clean as possible. And uh, I hope to see you guys in the last episode of this uh, Gothic 3 Path of Adenals playthrough where we're gonna go with Zardas into the mountains so uh, see you guys next time